Michael, what is the audio this time? It's about the sound quality improvement of the music streamer Wii M Pro Plus that I introduced earlier. Was it a power supply upgrade? First, the easiest way to improve sound quality is to change the equipment. Second, if you want to improve the sound of your existing equipment, it is common to change audio accessories such as cables. In this case, we changed the AC adapter instead of the cables. There are two main ways to change the AC adapter. One is to change to a linear power supply. The other is to replace the AC adapter with another switching power supply. Is the AC adapter of WM Pro Plus a switching power supply? Yes, it is. Currently, the AC adapters that come with smaller devices are switching power supplies. What is the difference between a linear power supply and a switching power supply? The difference between a linear power supply and a switching power supply is where the transformer is used. Linear power supplies use a transformer to reduce voltage before rectification and smoothing. A switching power supply uses a transformer after rectification and smoothing. The table below summarizes the characteristics of each. The advantages of linear power supplies are low noise and simple circuits. The size is large and heavy. The opposite would be the characteristics of a switching power supply. As the name, switching implies, the semiconductors are turned on and off repeatedly, so noise is a problem. So, a linear power supply is more advantageous for the Wii M Pro Plus? That's right, but a linear power supply would require a separate device, so I decided to change to a switching power supply this time. Most AC adapters using switching power supplies use silicon in their semiconductors. Similarly, Wii M Pro Plus also uses a silicon-based semiconductor. But recently, semiconductors using gallium nitride, which has higher performance than silicon, are being commercialized. What are the advantages of gallium nitride semiconductors compared to silicon? Gallium nitride has a larger band gap than silicon. What is a band gap? A band is an energy band with free electrons that contributes to electrical conduction. The gap is the space between the conductor and the valence band. In order for electrons to move, a voltage above the band gap is required. Conductors have a small band gap and insulators have a large band gap. In between are semiconductors. Are you saying that there are different band gaps within semiconductors? Exactly. Silicon has a small band gap and gallium nitride has a large band gap. The larger band gap means that it can withstand higher loads. This leads to miniaturization. Also, its high efficiency improves switching performance and reduces noise. The disadvantage is the high price. There are many gallium nitride AC adapters available, so we were not sure which one to choose. Among them, the product we use this time is Anchor 736 Charger. The price is about 6,000 yen. I chose Anchor because they have many power supply related products and their reputation is not bad. The 736 Charger is larger than the AC adapter that came with the Wii M Pro Plus. You said earlier that gallium nitride AC adapters can be made smaller. I bought the one with a larger output so that I can use it to charge my computer. If I wanted to use it only to power the Wii M Pro Plus, I could have used a smaller one. Actually, if the gallium nitride AC adapter hadn't worked, I would have bought it to charge my computer. The 736 charger has three ports. One is USB Type-A. You connect the Wii M Pro Plus to this port. The other two are USB Type-C. They are for computers and smartphones, so I didn't use them this time. 
What were the results? My expectation was that the sound quality would not change, but the effect was better than expected. Specifically, the signal-to-noise ratio was clearly improved. The sound became crisp and powerful even at the same volume. For me, the Gallium Nitride AC adapter is now indispensable for the Wii M Pro Plus. I didn't know it worked that well. But there is no AC adapter for stationary audio, right? Yes, that's right. Audio power cables generally have a power plug, not an AC adapter. It just has a small power plug. A cable comes out of it and connects to the device itself. Equipment without an AC adapter converts the power to DC in the main unit. A device with an AC adapter converts it to DC before going into the main unit. The AC adapter is separated from the main unit, making the main unit smaller. Either way, audio equipment operates on direct current. The current flowing from the power lines to the house is alternating current, so it must be converted to direct current somewhere. For example, the body of a laptop computer is small, but the AC adapter is large, right? Yes, that's right. The computer itself is small, but including the AC adapter, it is big and heavy. In the case of a notebook computer, it can be battery operated, so it is very significant to separate the AC adapter. By comparison, in the case of audio equipment, the AC adapter only serves the purpose of reducing the size of the main unit. Is it really necessary to make the main unit that much smaller? It's not something you carry around like a laptop. I think manufacturers are thinking of desktop audio. I install the Wii M Pro Plus in a rack where I put my stationary audio equipment, so there is no need to make a separate enclosure and AC adapter. But if you are installing audio equipment in a small space, the smaller the audio body, the better. I think this is why the main unit and AC adapter are separate. Conventional AC adapters use silicon semiconductors. Silicon semiconductors were the standard for AC adapters because they are inexpensive and stable. By changing from silicon to gallium nitride, we have been able to reduce noise and make the adapter smaller. Will AC adapters using gallium nitride be the future? No, the price is still higher than silicon, so it is not that widespread. But I think it will become popular among people who carry around AC adapters, not because of the advantage of less noise, but because of the fact that it can be made smaller. The USB port on the side that connects to the AC adapter of the Wii M Pro Plus is Type A. Very few gallium nitride AC adapters have only a USB Type A port. The Extra has a USB Type-A port. Are Gallium Nitride AC adapters for computers rather than for audio? Yes, it is. They seem to be manufactured for the purpose of miniaturizing PC and smartphone chargers, not for audio low-noise applications. Besides, one Gallium Nitride AC adapter has the advantage of being able to charge a computer and a smartphone at the same time. For those who take their PCs on business trips or other outings, the fact that the AC adapter is small and only one is needed is a big advantage. However, I used a gallium nitride AC adapter because of its lower noise level. Are there any other audio devices that use AC adapters? I used a regular power plug except for the Wii M Pro Plus, and if it's related to audio, it's a Wi-Fi router. Does the Gallium Nitride AC adapter work for Wi-Fi routers as well? I don't know. I've never done that. But it might be effective because it reduces noise derived from the power supply. Then there is the linear power supply, which we are not considering this time. This one seems to reduce noise more, so the effect would be significant. However, 
I am using another DAC in addition to the Wii M Pro Plus, and if I install another linear power supply, it would be too much money. I would have to spend too much money to install a linear power supply, which would reduce the benefit of the Wii M Pro Plus, which is an inexpensive way to enjoy music subs. It is difficult to find a balance in spending money on audio. It's not a bad idea to go all out. In fact, it would be fun. But for now, I think the Gallium Nitride AC adapter is sufficient to power the Wii M Pro Plus. The Gallium Nitride AC adapter seems to have a lot of potential. If the price of Gallium Nitride AC adapters decreases in the future, I think they will become popular. Maybe Master wants a Gallium Nitride AC adapter too? Yes, yes, I want one, I want one.